Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm the founder and creator of DogBreedingPro.com. Thanks for signing up for my free video tips and newsletter. If you're passionate about dogs like I am, then I know you will love these top 10 dog training tips. So let's dive in. The top 10 dog training tips for your dog. This is tip one. Get to know your dog really well. Notice if he appears to be uncomfortable meeting another dog or another person. He's telling you his feelings for a reason, so don't force the issue. Dog training tip number two, make sure to recognize the good stuff your dog does, not just the things you're unhappy with. Let your dog know when they're doing the right thing. At these times, give your dog lots of extra time and attention with praise. Dog training tip three, pay attention to which toys your dog likes. Not all toys are created equal to your dog. Soft and chewy versus hard and crunchy. Keep your eyes open to what he enjoys. Dog training tip four. It's good to be clear when correcting your dog. No may not be enough for him. If you say no, also tell him what you want him to do. An example of that would be no, sit, so that your dog understands not only the verbal command no, but also what they're supposed to be doing. Dog training tip five. Be consistent when training your dog and make sure everyone in the house is on the same page. An example of this is if you're telling the dog, get off the couch, and you give them the verbal, verbal command off, but everyone else in the house is saying down or allowing the behavior, he will never know what you really want from him. So make sure that you're clear and that everyone in the house that is giving verbal commands to the dog is clear about what behavior is allowed. Dog training tip six. Changing behavior takes time. Some behaviors like barking, digging, and jumping are all normal dog behaviors. So it will take time for your dog to change the behavior for you in appropriate settings like in the house. Also, if you've allowed the behavior when the dog was a puppy and now you want to change that behavior, it will take extra time. It's never ever too late to get started with dog training, but understand some behavior modification will take more time. Dog training tip seven. Always research the best food for your dog, an appropriate diet for your dog. Some dogs who are working on the farm and herding animals all day long need food high in protein, but others that are living in a condo or townhouse setting and are lounging around most of the day will need another type of diet. The amount that you spend, even if it's a little extra on the appropriate diet, will at times be the amount you don't spend on vet bills as a result of a bad diet. So help your dog feel at their best at all times. Dog training tip number eight. You will get the behavior you reinforce, not the behavior you want. For example, when your dog brings you a toy and barks at you to get your attention so you'll throw it to him, if you take the toy and throw it, now your dog has learned that if he barks, he will get what he wants. So if you reinforce this behavior and throw the toy again, you've again reinforced a behavior you don't want, which is barking. You may begin to have a problem on your hands. A solution to this would be ignore the barking behavior and ask your dog to do something else, like sit, before you will throw him the toy. Dog training tip number nine. Be careful using only treats to reinforce good behavior. It's not realistic that you'll have treats each and every time you need your dog to behave. So reinforce good behavior with praise, touch, playing games, and walking. Our final tip, dog training tip number 10. Be careful giving your dog too much freedom in the house too soon. You can minimize accidents in the house by closing off doors to unoccupied rooms, using baby gates to section off parts of the house, keeping your dog near you when they're out to play, or crate training when you can't actively supervise your dog. Once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed those dog training tips. Watch your email for more tips on how to create smart, healthy, happy dogs. Before I go, I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever thought about breeding your dog? If so, I wanted to share something exciting with you. First, a quick story about me and my dogs. I have a pair of miniature schnauzers. You can see us there. They're awesome dogs and I love the breed. So we decided to let them have a litter of puppies. It was a great educational experience for the kids and we really enjoyed it as a family project. But I didn't know much about dog breeding at that time. Since I was online, working as an internet marketer full-time with my husband, 
I decided to research this myself and was a bit surprised at what I learned. I found most puppy stores were selling puppies from puppy mills, which just turns my stomach. Puppy mills are mainly focused on mass quantity and the treatment of the animals is inhumane. After breeding my dog successfully, I knew this was going to require more thought and education on my part. So I've created and developed my own system with my pair of miniature schnauzers. I have experienced massive success in my dog breeding business. I've had great profits and I've always been able to find awesome homes for my puppies at the same time. I know there are families just like mine that love their dogs and are passionate about the breed that they're working with and also want to improve the marketplace and take steps to eradicate puppy mills. My goal is to help single families breed successfully and profit in their business. Where puppies are sold privately, no abuse of animals, only humane treatment, which will create more be healthy, happy dogs like I've done. Click the link below for access to my product. Here are some things you can expect. I'm going to take you from the beginning, step by step on how to breed your dog from what hair you're going to choose to breed and also what to expect and how to prepare each and every step of the way. Then we'll get into how to showcase your dogs for best results online and I'm going to give you access to my top secret advertising and marketing sources. Help us stop puppy mills. A portion of all the sales of this product will be donated to help fight against puppy mills around the world. We can make a difference. Here's a little bit about the work that's being done by these two organizations. Millions of dogs and cats are suffering now, fighting for life in cruel puppy mills, and struggling to survive in overcrowded shelters. Pregnant mothers and newborns are on death row. It doesn't have to be this way. You can help make a difference. Join North Shore Animal League America, the leading no-kill animal rescue and adoption organization, and help us save more precious lives. Donate as little as 50 cents a day and receive this blanket free. called one of the worst cases of its kind in Canada. The Humane Society and the province of Quebec have seized more than 500 dogs and puppies from a commercial breeding facility in rural Quebec. We believe this was the largest rescue of dogs from a commercial breeding facility in Canadian history. 2A14, These are the most rewarding experiences that you can have. And you know there are problems out there, We've all, we all know their existence, and if you can either ignore them or you can complain and whine about them or you can do something. So when you get together with a crew, of the kind of people that work these and see what can be accomplished, that's just so you want it. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. This dog is a perfect example of everything that is wrong with some of these large-scale commercial breeding facilities. It's heartbreaking to know the conditions that she lived in for such a long time. Oh, how adorable! This is a new day for these dogs. They have a second chance at a better future. But so many other dogs remain in puppy mills throughout the province of Quebec and around Canada. And we need your help to make sure that we can shut these operations down for good and make sure this kind of cruelty and suffering never happens again. It brings tears to your eyes to know that today is better than yesterday. 
and in a few weeks it's going to be way better than it ever was for the, any of them.